Get in, loser, we're going shopping. The girls are hungry. It's Cinderella. Um, hello, Big Bo. What is going on down there? I don't like that at all. Nope, you're dead. <laughs> <gasps> I'm done! Happy prom season, you guys. And with prom season comes making many prom dresses. I wanna make so many, okay, let's not get too ambitious here, but I wanna make at least two. But I don't really know what the kids are loving these days. I'm a few years removed from high school, like one or two. So I need to do some market research. So we're gonna go to the department store and check out what prom dresses they have. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Belk! We will be taking a brief intermission at Cheesecake Factory. The girls are hungry. The girls are starving. God, don't let, I shouldn't be at the mall. I'm trying not to buy things. But I'm getting really excited about the potential opportunity to buy things. After getting sidetracked many times, we have finally made it to the Belk prom section. I'm excited, so I'm just gonna start pulling things. Guys, okay, she's not very prom, but come on. This, whoa. I feel like this is such a big trend, the flounces. I like this one though, more than, yeah, they are giving maternity. It's Cinderella, it's Cinderella. Like, don't you think we should just try it on? Yeah. Um, hello, big bow. I don't know how I feel about a big bow for prom, but she is cute. I tried this one on last year and it did very like inspire my prom dress that I made last year because of the tears. Love this. It's kind of been Wednesday. I'm gonna see if I can grab one of these. Okay, again, they don't have my size, but I'm gonna grab the closest one. I really like this. It's kind of like timeless, kind of like Marilyn Monroe. We have my size. Okay, um, I don't think like this is my personal style, but like I've been seeing this like rosette thing everywhere. Um, I feel like I tried this on last year too or something like this wow the structure with the cow is really pretty maybe i should grab it what is going on down there you have some ruffles and a bubble this is a bubble i think we should try it on <laughs> now that now that i know it's a bubble pickings are slim you guys size this has been picked through this is like the prom dress i put out two years ago so i guess i don't need to try on that because we already have an option okay we're in the fitting room i'm gonna try everything on and you guys are gonna help me decide what we like Hey, voiceover Kiki here to take us through the design details we like on each dress. So for the first one, flounces we all know are super in, but I am concerned that they're on their way out. So I'm not sure about that one. This dress, I really like the style. She felt really classic to me, but no details really stuck out to me as innovative. So I didn't really get much from this. This dress is the same kind of deal as the red one. Really pretty, really timeless, but just not anything super innovative. However, it's a different story for this dress. I was loving these gathered tiers placed throughout the dress. I feel like I've seen that a lot recently. It's super, super in, so definitely keeping this in mind. This dress I just wanted to kind of try on because it was giving Cinderella. I love this little draped bust piece in the front. So that was pretty inspiring. Now this next dress, um, you know, I didn't love her. She's not my cup of tea, but she is a pretty girl. I was mostly looking at these vertical flounces for this dress to see if I could incorporate that in any of my designs. Okay, so I went to Instagram stories and I asked you guys for opinions on what you guys wanna see for prom. And I did some polls for you guys to help me out. So I did three polls of your suggestions. The first poll, very clear winner. So that did help me. You guys really like that like ethereal vibe. The second poll was really more up in the air, but you like number four, which is great because I already wanted to address very similar to that. And then the last one was kind of up in the air. I feel like nobody really loves any of these, so we can kind of throw it out. And then I also gave you guys some dresses from my inspo, which you guys really liked one and two, which is again, great because those were my favorites. From the second one, I learned that basically you guys just did not like the bias cut dress. This one specifically looks a little bit like older, so I can understand why. But yeah, basically from that information, I was able to sketch out a few dresses. So let's go through my sketches. Here's my sketchbook. Um, I'm gonna have it linked below. It is from Fashioner. I do have a 10% off code. It is an affiliate code, so I do get a little, 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 little amount of that because the flats are already drawn out there. I just draw right on top of it and it makes my life so, 
easy. Let's go through these, shall we? I had to draw some kind of not great dresses to get to the first dress I liked, which I really like this, but I don't know if this is great. I think I might do this in the summer for more of like a wedding guest dress because I don't know if like the girlies in high school are really into this more like sophisticated bias cut dress vibe. Um, and then what's great about it is that it's super like customizable. So all the ruffles that you see, the straps and the ruffles at the hem, you don't need to do ruffles. If you want a simple, beautiful bias cut dress, go for it. Also these covered buttons are like faux covered buttons. They're not the actual closure. So again, don't have to do that. So then you can just have this like nice blocked dress. If you did some color blocking, like you did this waist a different color, <gasps> that would be gorgeous. Um, my favorite, my personal favorite, I think is the second dress. And I'm thinking I want to do it out of an organza. So it gets really poofy. Um, you don't have to do it out of an organza, but like, I love that like big poofy shape. And these tiers with like the exposed ruffles are really in right now. Um, for the top, I did want to do this like either a thin spaghetti strap off to the side or these like wider, like inverted triangle straps. It's up in the air, but I think that's my favorite for now. You may give me your critiques and here's the thing, I know you will. So get in those comments and start, start telling me what you want. And then this third and final dress is really, I feel like trendy right now. This V waist is so in. Like everywhere I look, all I see is this V waist, you know? So I don't know if it's too trendy. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Or we don't want to get too crazy, you know? But I love that V waist. These off the shoulder pieces, obviously you don't have to do them if you don't want to, but I think they add like this romantic detail that I really like. And then it would be really easy to take off this final tier and make it a midi dress or a mini dress. So give me your thoughts. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Well, howdy partner. I was gonna end the video right then and there, get your feedback and then start a new video when we start creating the dress. However, the video was super short. So I decided to consolidate what we had and put it in a reel and post it to Instagram and ask you guys, what we thought. So we have narrowed it down to a design. The main winners were number two and three. I'm deciding to go with number two because I already have a pattern really similar to number three. If you guys really love that V waist design, maybe we can do another pattern around two, perhaps. I've already done the draping for this pattern. We've put it into the computer to be digitized and Noelle actually started on sewing the dress already. This is what she's left me with. She started gathering the skirt. She also already sewed the lining of the prototype. Um, this prototype is a little bit more exciting than a normal prototype because we decided to get really cute fabric. This is just plain cotton fabric from Joanne. It's just like mint with polka dots. Uh, because I feel confident that this dress prototype is gonna at least turn out wearable. Like it's gonna be cute. So I wanted to make the prototype. Oh shoot. I need lining fabric for the skirt. What time is it? Is Joanne still open? <laughs> 415, they close in 45 minutes. I need to go to Joanne right now. <laughs> Please hold. We are obviously taking a brief sewing intermission to check out the fabric. I've said it a billion times, but I'll say it again. Fabric Wholesale has like the cheapest fabrics for like satin, chiffon, organza. Oh my God. Ah! I'm gonna make this dress in a midi and a maxi length and the pink one, I'm ho oh, the blue is actually, wait, I could wear the blue one to the wedding. Okay, whoa, whoa okay, everyone calm down. Wait, okay. Whoa, oh my God. Let's start the haul because I'm getting really excited. Okay, I got pink crepe back satin. And to go with that, I got two options for organza. First is this liquid organza. Look, oh my God. It's like liquid because like, just look at that. It looks like liquid. This is beautiful. Oh, and the color match is truly spot on. So I'm very pleased with that. Oh, and then yeah, definitely the liquid organza because the crystal organza, uh, I hate this. It's like also a darker pink. It's not really a light pink. I do not like this. I don't like that at all. Nope, you're dead. Okay, now the blue. Ooh, the blue I don't know about because these are not an exact match. I got this blue liquid organza, which I'm obsessed with. It looks like freaking Cinderella. I wanted to make the maxi dress out of this. However, this doesn't match. I don't know, maybe it'll work. 
I'm so, I'm over the moon about this. This is gorgeous. It's gonna look so pretty as a wedding guest dress. <sighs> Hey guys, hey guys. Um, so this dress is almost done. I just have to hem it. Actually, I have to top stitch the lining around the neckline, but this is the last thing. I'm like a little loopy because it is 10 p.m. at night. I made it like extra long so we could test it, but we don't need that now. Okay, how long? Like, what we're we gonna do? An inch? An inch hem? Ta da! Oh, well, hello there! Well, hello there, Gorgina! Welcome! Say hello to the YouTube up here. Up here. Please subscribe to my mother. She would love to be a successful YouTuber. Oh, ew. <coughs> Say hello. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it so far. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, goodbye. Ripper. Oh, how did that pie? What? Hi. Whoa, that's uneven. How did that even happen? Oh, okay, that's why. No, thank you. Okay, and then the lining underneath has to be hemmed to be shorter. So, oh, it's already like perfect. balls. Okay, let me hem it. <gasps> I'm done! <sighs> Yay! Okay, I'm really excited because I tried on the shell earlier and it fit really well, so I think this is gonna be good. Hey. Whoa, calm down. Calm it down. Holy crap, look how freaking cute I look! Let's talk about the issue first before we get into the good things. The issue, can you tell what it is? Yeah, girl, this first tier is like straight. It looks like so much so that it looks like a freaking trumpet dress. It's like straight and then the second tier goes out. Um, so this first tier, instead of a rectangle, I'm gonna have to make it like an A-line gathered skirt so that we have more shape. Cause this is not that cute. Other than that, that is the only issue. Um, I do wanna come up here closer to show you the bodice cause you can't really see the seam lines on this fabric. You can't really see on the back too, this seam line right here, which is like fine. She's just the prototype. She's gorgeous though. And then look at this. If you take off the sleeves, call me crazy, do you think? Okay, wait, wait, wait. If I like fashion tape to this up so it doesn't like fall down. Imagine this is fashion taped up. Call me crazy, but don't you think this is kind of cute? Like a little off the shoulder moment or does it just look like I'm wearing the straps wrong? You can be honest. You can be honest, but honestly, I think it looks cute. I also think this looks really cute without the ruffle if you want a little bit more. You know, showing. Oh, mm -hmm. But yeah, it fits perfect. No adjustments other than this first tier, unless, unless you've got something to say. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make the wedding dress, this exact dress, out of pink. And then I'm gonna make a maxi dress out of blue. Let me know if you want a second prom dress pattern, because obviously I'm working on this, but I will make a second one out of those one, two, and three. If you request it, people are really liking number three. But yeah, if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.